working with multiple layers lecture 5 in this a lecture we are going to explore the different ways of working with multiple layers and this is this is a small example of working with multiple layers let us first see the animation so in this animation you can see that a ball is being moving from top of the slope to the bottom and there's a block to stop this ball the same animation can be created in flash here I had used multiple layers like one for the background one for the bo uh, box or sphere or rectangular shape and the other one to move this ball from top to bottom okay so we'll look at this particular animation we're going to create the same animation using multiple layers okay so to start with the animation we'll click on file new and say okay it creates a blank stage okay now the first thing that we need to do is we need to change the color of the stage so for that left click on the stage select document properties click on the background color this is going to change the color of the stage and uh, you can pick a lighter shade the color which you want click on ok now the color of the stage has been changed and the next thing that I'll do is I'll rename this layer by double clicking on the layer I will call it as ground background okay so that it's easy for us to know where or in which layer or we are working with the next thing that I will do is I will use a line tool okay and I will make a small stand here then okay then I will drag it then uh, okay so okay so the next thing is I will connect this so it has to be a closed uh, structure so that when we fill a color the paint will not overflow or spill over okay so fill a color on this right so it requires any adjustment just select the transformation tool and adjust it a little okay now if there is anything awkward remove it up right fine we are done with the background then uh, the next thing is add another layer click on this new layer or insert layer and we name this uh, as a box okay now here we are going to add a small box on this layer okay so we need to change color change the color of this box okay yeah so outlines generally look odd so we just remove the outline now you have a block so take this block and uh, for time being just place this block here now uh, this block is on the second layer now if you use this like yeah so visible and invisible show and hide button that will work, make the work easy for you what you are going to do is we don't want to mess up with these two layers so we are going to lock those two layers and we'll add one more layer and let us call this layer as a ball okay we need to create a gradient ball so select an a gradient ball okay so earlier we had selected red okay so if you want you can go with a green okay now what do you do as again take a wall shape okay make a ball now so 
use a selection tool once again to remove the outline now you have a ball here now uh, in order to animate that we need to have frames so add equal number of frames to all the three layers okay fine and for here we'll add a keyframe uh, in the first frame we need to place the ball here as if it has placed on the floor okay fine and in the last frame we need to place it somewhere here okay now uh, we need to give an rotation moment or rotation feeling so to give that click on this gradient transform tool and you can what you can do is you can slightly rotate this and you can adjust the color so that you have a feeling uh, that the color is changed when the ball moves from top to bottom okay let's position it somewhere down but fine now if you see uh, the ball in the beginning it was brighter and by the time it reached down its color has changed okay now we need to create a motion tween select the first frame then uh, go for selecting use the shift key hold the shift key press the last button okay then left click the mouse button select create motion tween so this should successfully create you a tween okay now let's test our movie now if you want to create create a movement of this uh, say sphere which is placed here bring it a little closer click on this okay bring it okay uh, click on this move it a little Fine. Now uh, go to this frame and move this object. Uh, use a selection tool, move this object a little to this side. As if uh, we create a feeling that uh, the ball has moved the spear. Now see what happens when it is the movie. The ball has touched and it has slightly given a jerk or it has slightly moved the spear a little aside okay if you want to have this animation for a while add few more frames okay so now here as we have a motion when there flash automatically considers it the next thing also the animation so use remove to me see what happens so review uh, follow the steps uh, you'll be able to animate that and this is just a basic a rough idea to give how to animate so sky is the limit just challenge your creativity okay come up with different ideas and you can create as many animations as possible your you can create a simple pendulum that swings from one side to another side but the more and more 
you experiment the more and more you work with different objects the more and more you work with frames the more and more you work with keyframes you'll be mastering your skills so